Hi, and welcome to week three of your home video practice. A little chilly today here. Um, what do you need? You definitely need a stable support. So go grab a chair that has a high back, um, stand by a wall, something so that um, as we increase the level of difficulty, you have something to kind of tap on to give you a little support while you're still working on these moves, okay? You will need also a yoga block. Maybe you're thinking, gee, I don't have a yoga block. You can use a small ball. You can even use a book, you know, something a little solid, or a pillow, like a big throw pillow could work too. So kind of look around the house, see what you've got. Uh, worst comes to worst, you don't have to use anything, okay? So as you know, we are trying to give you some exercises, some things to do at home to help mix up and spice up your balance practice. Okay, so let's just start simple. Remember, take a breath, feel the rib cage expand. On the exhale, feel that rib cage depress. Okay, inhale, ribs open, exhale, ribs close. When we get down on the floor, we'll practice our hip to hip, um, pulling that belly in, maybe pulling the blueberries up, um, feeling that tautness between your hip bone and your hip bone. So you're holding that lowest part of your core in nice and tight. Remember about the feet. Get the weight even on your feet. You don't want the weight to roll to the outside of your foot. So just take one leg, I don't care which one, find your knee hug. See where you are today with your balance. Oh, apparently I'm a little wobbly, okay? Try to roll that weight into your instep of your foot. Feel that inner thigh connect. Feel that whole body lock in. Take it down, other leg comes up. It's always helpful if you look at one space that's like ahead of you, something that isn't moving. So probably looking at the video isn't the best thing to do when you're trying to find your balance, okay? So here we go, knee hug. Take a nice deep breath. Pull the tummy in, breathe, don't hold your breath. So welcome, welcome, Dolores here with you today from my home to yours. Maybe you're on vacation, maybe you're hanging out at home with your husband or your wife and you're like, come on, let's check out our balance. Today's the day to do it. Okay, everybody good? Shoulder rolls, take a nice deep breath. Okay, find your ball. Book isn't gonna work for this one, okay? So if you've got a ball, use a ball. You can use a yoga block. Um, small pillow will work too. Get it between your ankles, okay? So your feet are flat on the ground, your feet are on railroad tracks, going straight front and back, so they're parallel. They're not turned out at all, okay? Hands can go here, or have your hands by your surface if you need a little bit more help. We're going up on our high heels and then lowering down. Lift and lower. Now what that ball is doing is it's keeping those ankles in alignment and we really want that, okay? We don't want those ankles splaying out. We talked about in the first class a lot, maybe a little bit last week, that the muscles in your feet and your ankles are so important to your balance. They're so important to your stability, your core stability. So we want to strengthen these muscles. So calf raises are a great way to do that, okay? Little bonus, if you squeeze through your glutes, you might even feel this right up the back of your legs through those hamstrings, that's a good thing. What to think about, keep going, calf raises up and down. What to think about, you don't wanna arch your back. You wanna keep that core pulled in, okay? Lift lower, lift lower. Okay, tummy's pulled in. Think of a corset being wrapped tight around your ribs. Lift up, up. This one we're gonna hold, okay? So take it up. Again, if you need your little surface to tap on, that's okay. Squeeze through the glutes. Find your breath, okay? Hold those high heels. Now look to one side. I'm gonna look over my right shoulder. Hold, hold, hold those heels high. Take it to center, squeeze, squeeze. Turn your head the other way. Make sure you're breathing. 
Take it forward and rest those heels down, walk it out. We're gonna do one more set, okay? Here we go, you ready? Take it up and down, up and down. You wanna go all the way up through the balls of the feet, get those heels as high as you can. A nice place to take this exercise next is onto your stairs. You can hold onto the banister and then let those heels drop a little lower than the step. And then you'll get a really nice stretch through the calves and through those Achilles heels. Here we go, lift it up and lower, lift it up. You've got two more. One more, we're gonna hold it up, hold it up, squeeze through the tushy, pull the belly in, make sure you're breathing, look to one side. Don't hold your breath, take it forward, look the other way, high heels, high heels, look forward, take it down, walk it out. Okay. Lose your pillow, lose your ball. You don't need it right now. You might need your surface, okay? Now, your feet are together. Open your toes up to like one o'clock and 11 o'clock, maybe two o'clock and 10 o'clock, depending on your flexibility, okay? We're gonna hover those heels off the floor and squeeze the heels together. So look, I kind of have a little diamond happening. My knees are gonna track over my feet. We are doing a four count lower. Everybody's is gonna look different, okay? I've got really good knee flexibility, so I can go down really deep, push up, 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 nice and slow. Maybe your knee flexibility isn't so good and you're just bending a little bit and then coming up, 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 okay? Maybe your balance isn't ready to go down so low, okay? You find what works for you, find that spot, stare at it, but squeeze those heels together. The heels hovering off the ground give you some instability, okay? Stay tall, pull up, 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 up. So stay tall, don't hinge forward, make your core hold you up, push up, 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 push into those heels, get a little bonus inner thigh work, bonus quadricep work. Here we go, take it down, 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 up, up, up. One more time, then we take a rest. Take it down, two, Three, four, up, two, three, and four. Walk it out. Take a rest for a second. Shake it out. So this week we're going to start talking about proprioception, where your body is in space. Okay, it's really important to have that knowledge of yourself, and that will help you with fall prevention. Because if you kind of are aware of where you are and what your body's doing, get set up again, feet together, Open up to one o'clock and 11 o'clock. Take it up on high heels. Squeeze those heels together. Here we go. Try it. Maybe try it without holding on. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Take it up. Two, three, four. Knowing where your body is in space also is helpful when that wobble is happening. Okay, remember, we want to embrace the wobble. We've only got three more, okay? Take it down. Two, you want to embrace the wobble. The wobble is just your body self-correcting so that you don't fall. But you need those muscles strong, okay? Even in the feet and ankles, those little muscles. I lost count, I think we just have one more. Here we go, you ready? Belly in, close those ribs up. Make sure you're breathing, take it up. Two, three, and four, walk it out. Okay, so there's so much to think about, but right now while we're balancing, just find a spot, stare at it, think of your core pulling in, think of your breath. Okay, again, now we're using balance, we're using all the poses we just did, those calf raises, but only on one leg. Ooh, okay, here we go, take a nice deep breath. You don't want those shoulders up by your ears, roll those shoulders down. Here we go, right knee, is coming up, okay? So you're standing on your left foot. You're going up on a high heel. Heel goes down, foot goes down. Maybe you need your surface to hold on to. Other leg, knee comes up. High heel, ooh, heel down, go down on the floor. Feels too hard? Instead of lifting that knee up, just go down to the tippy toe and kind of kickstand it. Go up on a high heel, rest it down. But I'd almost rather you use your surface, take that knee up, and use that surface for a little bit of balance. 
So you really work that calf. These are tough guys. These are hard to do. And like we talked about before, when we had the uh, ball between your heels, you don't want that ankle to roll out. That's what was so great about using that ball there because you, it forced your ankles to stay pulled in. We're only doing one more on each side. Here we go. Lift it up, press, lower, tap, one more. Lift, high heel, lower, and tap. Walk it out, okay? That's a good one for you to try to squeeze into the day, maybe when you're at the supermarket. Just make sure you have something to kind of support you if you do start to wobble and you're not quite ready to self-correct yet. Okay, so now we're going down on the floor. You do not need your support, but you do need your pillow, your ball, ideally a yoga block if you have one, um, but something that's kind of this shape, okay? We talked about the back of your body, your glutes, the back of your, the muscles that surround your spine, they're all part of your core. So we're gonna kind of work on those a little bit. So get yourself down on the floor. That book, that pillow, that ball, that block is gonna go under your left foot. You're going all the way down. You're laying down on the floor. We're just gonna take this opportunity, hands go on your ribs, take a deep breath, feel those ribs expand, exhale. Now, find the um, space between your two hip bones, that little smushy, little pillowy, little low belly, okay? Now, take a breath, inhale, exhale, think about pulling that blueberry up off the floor, okay? Now, find that tautness between your hip bones, try to find those muscles and tighten them up, okay? Here we go, you ready? Keep them tight. Maybe those palms go down on the floor. Glutes squeeze. And you know, if you've been in my class, you know I love to let your hands help you guide the movement. So if you put your hands on your glutes, you'll feel those muscles contract and you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So just to start, I want you to hold this. Both feet are pressing into the floor. You're gonna feel that left glute more, okay? It's working a little harder. So press into that left glute. Remember, you want that belly in. You want to be supporting that low back with that belly pulled in. Relax your shoulders. Hold it there. Now just with a squeeze of the glutes, take it, squeeze, hold. Squeeze, hold. So those glutes are contracting. The belly is still pulled in, but your chest is relaxed. Your jaw is relaxed. Your head is relaxed. Hold that squeeze. Now your right foot is gonna go tippy toe and you're gonna lift it up to tabletop and then tap it down to the floor. Feel the difference, what's happening in that left glute. It's working hard here, tap. The belly's pulling in, okay? Relax the shoulders, lift, lift. Tap, tap, lift, lift. Tap, tap, one more time. We're gonna hold it right here. Hold it in tabletop. That leg is bent, feeling fancy. You can get that leg straight up to the sky if you want. Here we go, left glute, squeeze. Maybe that left hand goes onto that cheek so you can actually feel those muscles squeezing. You've got eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, easy does it, squeeze, hold. Don't let that back arch, lower down to the floor, rest that foot down. Everybody good? Okay, we're gonna mix in a little bit of core, front of the body core, okay? That block or pillow goes between your thighs, okay? So you've got that pillow, the ball, the block, put it between your thighs, your elbows go wide, take it to tippy toes, Find your core, pull the ribs in. So interlace those ribs, pull that low belly in nice and tight. Here we go, both elbows come up, up, up. Try to tap and then tap the toes down. Now what I don't wanna see or hear from you later is that this puts any strain on your neck. 
okay? You shouldn't be wrenching that head up and down. Weight of the head is in those fingertips, but every time you crunch in, think about hollowing out the belly. Here we go, belly in, in, in. Keep fighting to keep that belly pulled in. You've got two more. Two more, guys. Belly in, exhale. One more time. Belly in. And take it down to the floor. Take that yoga block, pillow, book, ball, and put it on the floor so the other foot goes on. Right hand goes on to that right glute. Left foot is flat. Belly's nice and tight, okay? Here we go. Press into that block and feel that right glute laid up, okay? Not to say the left glute isn't working, okay? But that right glute you're really gonna feel. Press into the block, here we go. Squeeze and hold. Glutes squeeze and hold. The entire gluteus maximus, that hold both cheeks, are squeezing. Relax the upper body, open up your chest. We're never pushing out on the belly, the belly's hollowing out. Squeeze, hold. Two more. Squeeze, hold. Squeeze, hold. Hold it right there. Keep that right cheek super tight. Left toes go to tippy top. Here we go. Take it to tabletop. And then tap. Tabletop. Push into that right foot so hard. Tabletop. And tap. Tabletop. And tap. Tabletop, one more time. We take it to tabletop, hold it. You should not be feeling any stress in your low back. If you are, take the foot back down to the ground and just work on squeezing the glutes here and keeping a little bit more support, okay? Here we go, right cheek, squeeze, squeeze. Maybe that right hand is on that glute. Come on, feel it, feel it. Take it eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, hold, 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 hold. Belly pulls in. Maybe lift those hips up a tiny bit more. Take that left foot down to the floor. Easy does it, lower yourself down. Lose your yoga block. You're almost done, you're almost done. Hands come forward, both palms on your thighs. Okay, legs are a tabletop. What does that mean? They're not up high, they're not dipping low, they're parallel to the floor. Okay, press the palms, arms are straight, press the palms into the thighs, flex your feet, push your thighs into your palms, and think about hollowing out through the belly. So pressing that belly into the floor and squeezing those ribs together, but keep Breathing. Here we go. Press, press. Take a nice deep breath. Take it four more. Make sure you're breathing. Three. Push harder, push harder. Two. And one. Hug it in. Give yourself a little low back massage. We're going to do that one more time. Here we go. Flex the feet. Straight arms. Press those palms into the thighs. Press your thighs into your palms. Pull that belly in, in, in. Take a nice deep breath. You're not holding your breath. We're going for eight, seven, six. Remember, hollow out the belly. Don't let those shoulders creep up by your ears then you're not pushing hard enough. Four, three, two, and one. Hug it in. Little low back massage. Okay, real quick little stretch for you, and then you can be on your way. Arms go out to a T. Legs are still in tabletop. Drop them over to the right. Oh, yeah. Turn the head to the left. Reach those arms out long. Hug that belly button into the spine. Now use all the muscles in your waist to lift those legs up. Take it the other way. Drop them to the left. Rotate the head to the right. Reach those arms long. Take a deep breath, okay? On the exhale, try to feel that stretch a little deeper every single place on your body. Reach the arms longer. Let those legs hang heavier. 
Pull the belly button to the spine. Here we go. Lift it up, up, up. Choice. You can do that again. You can give yourself another little low back massage. You can just relax. Lay long. Take a couple seconds to reconnect, to breathe. And that's it. That's your week three workout for today. Um, make sure to be careful. Use the support if you need it. And I'll see you in the studio for week four.